This Japan Bouldering Cup is more than just a competition. It's a decisive moment for these Japanese climbers to earn a coveted spot in Team Japan to represent the country at IFSC international events this year, including the Olympic qualifier for Paris 2024. Come on, Michi. Oh. This competition is also very special because it's the creme de la creme of bouldering as Japanese climbers have a reputation for dominance regularly podium sweeping at international events. So this is the highest level of competition climbing that you will ever see. The pressure is immense and the stakes are high. This is going to be a boulder battle for the future of Japan bouldering for 2023. And let's not forget, this competition is so fierce that even World Cup overall champion Yoshiyuki Ogata did not even make it into the finals. Michi Narasaki is the younger brother to Tomorrow Narasaki, the multiple world champion climber and bouldering superstar. After a lifetime of playing second fiddle, Michi Narasaki barely managed to scrape by to qualify for this final. And he has a chance now to face off against his older brother, Tomorrow Narasaki. Come on, Michi! Ali! So Michi has always struggled to secure podium spots in Japan national competitions and thus does not get selected to join the Team Japan at IFSC competitions. So, but with this performance, he has the opportunity now to show the world what he's capable of. Come on, Michi! Oh. This is his chance, one of his final chances to prove that he deserves a place alongside Tomoa, his brother on the international stage. So this is the one we want to watch. Ale Meiji, come on. He's swinging plants, gets the right hand, he sticks it beautiful. I think he's aiming on the toe, it's kind of on the top side rather than the side of the sloper. So this is really, really cool for Meiji. I like his approach to his rhythm, his tempo. It's just, just like his brother, probably even better. Crosses right hand, matches the stick, the swing, and top stock. Come on, Meiji Narasaki. That's how you do it. 20 seconds left. This is Daiki Sano, uh, an up and coming Japanese climber. He's really, really strong and very good at coordination. Ooh. いや、きついですよね。こうなりますよね。でも、is Tomoe Narasaki, Michi younger, sorry, no, Michi's older brother, Michi is younger, uh, Tomoe Narasaki is shorter, but older. Tomoe Narasaki, oh, he actually has a really cool rhythm to land it, but I think he almost, almost overshot that right hand, so this time, comes in a little bit better, he doesn't manage to stick it this quite yet, but you see the immense power that Tomoe Narasaki generates, beautiful to come in. I think he, he tried to come back to match the lower one, but of course, you get a little bit stuck. He tries to match the higher one, but he brings his body too far back and, and to edit, he swings back too far forward. His core is too strong and he nails it this time, but he really has to really focus to really reach the top. Otherwise, he will be already behind Meiji Narasaki. He jumps to the match and secures. The top. Now, both brothers are one for one, right now, and it's intense. We've come now to boulder number two, Meiji Narasaki leading the way. He barely qualified for this finals. I think he only managed to qualify by a few attempts on a certain zone on a semi final round. So, it's a very, very tough competition. He barely makes it in. Ooh, little slips there, but oh, that, this Dipolo is going to be super difficult. You're going to see later on, I have no idea how they're going to try this. This simple volume is really protruding, but not protruding enough because the lip of the volume is pointing vertically. And let me tell you, the friction in simple volumes is not good. And that white bar over there, but lining the bottom, is double text. It's slippery, and I have no idea how he plans to hang on. He puts his left heel 
right toe to kind of squeeze his two volumes underneath. I'm not sure how he's going to transition. He's trying to flip his right hand, cross his left hand forward. You can see he's really bad at holding on to nothing and he slips off. Come on, Meiji. So, Meiji Narasaki, 47, 46 seconds left on the clock. I love these kind of pushy, pressy kind of uh, climbs on the Daihi trails. Let me know if you like this type of climbing. I personally love this. is my favorite type of climbing. And let's see how he changes and adjusts. He wraps his right hand, digs his left heel in. This is forward, this kind of keeping his body nice and low, nice and tight into the wall. He manages to span across to this with his left hand. He needs to crawl up now and somehow push against his volume. Yup, needs to match. And he has to crawl up with his slopey, simple volume. And he has to span across. Go on, Michi. He makes the turn. That's two for two. Two tops and two boulders. He is looking super strong. This climb, I think, really suits him But telling you what he did was actually super human. If you look at this now, that was kind of like the intended idea to kind of jump across. And let's see. This is uh, in a way he's also won the national championship before. He's putting his left leg very high. <laughs> He's converting to his left heel. What is he doing, dude? Oh my god, how is he hanging on? It's super strong. Oh man, that is tough. I can't believe he's able to even make that somewhat possible. He's rotating around, he's literally nothing. He has all his weight on the friction on the dual attacks of his right hand. And that is a tall order. Um, this guy right now, uh, he's, he's kind of uh, employing the same idea, but he's really keeping his feet high. Oh, almost going feet first, upside down. I can't imagine if he does fall. He, all his weight is on his right hand wrapped around this, this like, really bad volume. I'm not sure. He flips. I don't know he's flipping and wrapping. His, he needs to somehow. Yeah. Find the postures, that's it, and bumps up. I think he's good. Is he able to reach the top? That's quite a, quite a stretch. He needs to be able to get his right foot pressing to the football nicely. <laughs> he jumps across. I knew that was a big stretch. Michi made it look pretty okay. Oh man, that was you see, Kokoro Fuji really struggling in this car. He had no idea he could not read it at all. He was World Cup champion. These really tough. That shows how much the level has gone up. Now, tomorrow Narasaki, he has to keep up with his brother. If he falls behind here, he might not reach the goal. He reinterprets re re this as a coordination press, and I would interpret this too. And it's very natural, it looks really good, and uh, it's not forced because you kind of match the underclink and transition across. But Tomohon Arasaki here, he is a shorter climber, he has to find a beta that suits him. He might deploy what the other climber heroes kind of did. He's going with this immediately wrapping his right hand around, oh my goodness, he's literally wrapping his right hand around like a jib and a volume and it's really sloppy, I don't know how he's going to hang on. Oh, okay. Oh! But he adjusts too much, and I think there's just enough pressure to kind of slip his feet off. I think if he didn't adjust, he tried to stick with his guns, stick with the friction he had. Oh, okay, he's trying to employ this right foot here, but I don't think you have enough space to go left. He's trying to just crawl up the volume right away. Oh my goodness, he's trying to smear with his knee on the volume. That's that like, he's smearing knee bar is gonna scrape a lot of skin. He actually gives up. And we see Michi Narasaki, the underdog. Two tops and leading the way. This is the slap now comes to M3. He interprets this with a beautiful coordination, sticks it right away. Now, the advantage of Michi Narasaki here is that, is, is that if you're a taller climber and if the slab is. <laughs> That is a terrible thing. If the slab is inclined enough, you actually get an advantage. But this incline is only 4 degrees inclined. It's not much of an advantage. If the incline, oh, he tries to span across. I don't think that's the way. Uh, this is his next attempt, but I don't think he has to kind of find a way. But back to what I was saying, if you need to, you need to be able to have the height to really balance and really have this no hands climb a lot easier. 
but it's only a lot easier if it's inclined at about 5 degree onwards. If it's less than that, it's actually a detriment, but Meishi Narasaki somehow makes it across. He's really trying to dance and find his feet along the slopey volumes. I can't believe what he's doing. Those, those, that feet is really weak. Really, really oh my goodness, he has the guts to swap his feet on really slopey volumes, but I love his technique, the way he's smearing, it's like almost ideal for smearing, can he reach across and match, oh he almost slips across, and he manages to talk, so good Meijin Arasaki, that was impressive, three tops and three boulders, come on Meijin Arasaki, this is your time. Now, tomorrow Narasaki needs to top this. This is not tomorrow, this is uh, in a way. But you can see, the first move isn't really that easy. Meiji Narasaki made it super smooth. And yeah, he's been, I think he's blossomed in, in the past couple of months seeing his channel. This is actually an alternative beta. Um, oh, looks like he's trying to find a way to go static. Right foot pressing, he's using the right hand, rotating his body very well. It's not an easy way to do it. I would argue this might be actually harder than the coordination way, because you have to right kind of pressure on the right hand. You have to kind of manage the balance between staying to the right and moving your left leg across. That's not easy to do. But he makes it work. But it does take a lot of time. And he manages to put great pressure on the cling. Look at his new technique. He's just right, just enough. Now his hips are sinking to the right. He needs to sink shift left. Oh my goodness. He's, he's, holding, he's holding stability with his left palm at the mercy of that small jib. He's using the right under claim to stabilize his body, to shift his left foot in turn. Now he has to swap feet. Now the problem is how do you get your left foot onto the high foot hole? makes it look easy. Now this is a little bit further for him so he might need to step up completely and mix it with a one, one leg. On leg squat. Yeah, that's super cool. That's really, really smooth. Now, tomorrow, Narasaki here has to top in order to stay in medal contention for the gold. He has to top in very few events and he has to hope Meiji maybe doesn't figure out the last goal though. Tomorrow, Narasaki makes this first part look really, really good. Now, we see can he transition to the other side? It's gonna be a little bit difficult. He's actually using the bottom volume to get across quite smart. Going on the right hand first. But it's a bit difficult to balance here. Oh, he's, wow, he's actually trying to smear and swap. Really, really gutsy work. Beautiful sense of balance here. He's just super slick at shifting his weight. I think he should have no problem. Oh, but the right foot is a little bit precarious. The right foot angle is a little bit precarious. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, you can see how small that left foot is. No! No, tomorrow. Don't match foot. Don't go across. Oh, no, dude. So tomorrow, Narasaki tries to cross his right foot there. But the problem is, the problem is, you release, you release a pressure of your left foot. And that's how you slip. If you want to do it that way, you have to really commit the cross. I think he's just being deceived because there's actually two small jibs there. So he's been, de he's, he's like a little bit deceived. And that's why he tries to cross his right foot. But he should do quite well just leaving his left foot there and doing that one legged uh, squat like what the previous camera did. So, and tomorrow Narasaki adapt. 30 seconds on the clock too much pressure and he slips and I don't think he makes it. This is Meiji Narasaki back at it again for the glory, for the title, for you to come out at of the shadows of your older brother, Meiji Narasaki, to make a name for himself. This is men's fall. This is a huge move. I have no idea what you're supposed to do here. You can see by the marks on the volume, the yellow volumes, there's lots of foot marks there. But Meiji Narasaki, it's a huge move. Right, of course. Has to find the pressure. Has to find something to put his foot on. Oh, <laughs> incredible core strength. He needs to shift to the right though, so he's prepared. So. Looks like he is in the Amazing. And he should be able to the top here. But the top pole looks a little bit angled and weird way. This is a really tall order, even for Meiji Narasaki. He almost gets there. 
Mr. Sova, he did it. Okay. Oh. So th this move is huge, right? I suspect um, it's supposed to be some kind of footwork play and yeah. Oh, okay, come on. Come on, brother. Oh, it doesn't really find it. Because you see, there's a lot of black street marks on that yellow ball. Um, that yellow ball has no texture. That's the ball text. But that could indicate that there's some footwork there. But I don't know. Maybe the setters somehow put black foot marks there to kind of confuse the climbers. The climbers don't seem to be able to catch that last jump because it's just a little bit too, a little bit too slow. Maybe that's, that was a feet first method. Um, but I guess these climbers couldn't figure out within the four minutes. Um, Tomorrow Narasaki here yeah, has to top this boulder in order to stay in contention. But I think it's just too much of a tall. And Meiji Narasaki coming out of the shadows, the dark horse finds the goal 